Hello Year 7, please complete your Do Now Retrieval quiz in your books. Pause the video here while you answer these questions. OK, I'm going to pop the answers on the board for you. Make sure you give yourself a mark. OK, so today we're starting a new topic called Speed and Forces. The title for today's lesson is Forces. Make sure this is written at the top of your page, underlined along with today's date. So, first question, what is a force? Now, a force can either be a push or a pull. For example, you might push open a door. When you do this, you've applied a force to the door. You also have to apply a force to pull open a drawer. You apply force when you pull and the drawer opens. Now, write the sentence above and draw two diagrams on your piece of paper to show what a force is. It could be a door or any other example you can think of. So pause the video here and complete your first task. We can't see forces, but we can see the effect that a force has. What effect do you think a force does have? Think about the examples you just drew in your book to help you. Okay, so forces can change an object's speed. They might speed the object up or slow the object down. A force can also change an object's direction or its shape. Think about a stress ball. You apply a force and the object goes from being a sphere to being squashed. Now, have a go at your second task. Copy and complete. When a force is exerted on an object, it can change the object's Pause the video while you complete this. Now, we know what a force is and we know what a force does. But what types of force are there? Now, there are two different types of forces. We have contact forces, which is where the object must be touching to exert a force. For example, when I push open the door, I have to touch it. So that would be a contact force. We also have non-contact forces, and this is where objects do not have to touch to exert the force. These include gravity, magnetism and forces due to static electricity. OK, pause the video and have a go at this quick quiz. Have a go at the extension. Here are the answers to your quick quiz. OK, we're going to watch this video. A force is a push or a pull. We can't see a force, but we can see the effects of the force. A force can move a stationary object, stop a moving object, or change its direction. A force can change the speed of an object. It can also change the shape of an object. A force is measured using the a force meter. The SI unit of force is Newton. There are two kinds of forces, contact force and non-contact force. When we push or pull an object, we have applied force to the object. 
the object will move in the direction of the applied force. An applied force is an example of, a con of contact force. Friction is also a form of contact force. Friction goes against motion. Even though friction slows things down and makes movement difficult, there are many things we could not do without friction. Friction holds us to the ground and allowing us to walk without slipping. Friction causes the car to break in time to accidents. The amount of frictional force depends on the texture of surfaces in contact. When the surface is smooth, there is less friction. The force that makes things fall to the ground is called gravity. Gravity is an example of non-contact force. Gravity pulls an object towards the Earth. To the force of gravity also exists on the moon, but it is not as strong as it is on Earth. When an object rests on, on a surface, there will, be, there will always be a reaction force. When we are standing on the Earth, the reaction force balances the weight of our body, so we don't fall, fall through the pavement. The reaction is also called normal force. Magnetic force is non-contact force. Magnetic force only acts on magnetic objects. Iron, steel and nickel are magnetic materials. The force of magnetic attraction pulls the magne magnetic object towards the magnet. The interaction of forces makes the world we live in the way it is. A cycle on a bicycle experience the interaction of different forces. Gravity pulls the weight of the bicycle and the rider towards the earth, while an equal reaction force acts upwards to balance gravity. As he rides, the frictional force between wheels of the bicycle and the ground acts against the forward force so he doesn't go too fast. As a fish swims forward, water resistance acts in the opposite direction. While gravity pulls the fish towards the bottom of the water, the upthrust exerts an upward force that encounters gravity. In level flight, the upward lift applied to the wings of an aeroplane is equal to the downward weight of the plane. While the force forward thrust of the propeller is equal to the air frictional drag on the plane. Okay, now you've watched that video, let's answer this quick quiz. If you need help, you can always go back and watch that part of the video again. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Make sure you upload your work to Teams so that your teacher can see it. Have a good day!